Hello and welcome to another quick tour for Cartographica version 1.2. In this screencast we'll be talking about buffer analysis in Cartographica. Uh, so in this example we have on screen uh, yellow points represent crime locations in the city of Washington DC for the year 2007 and then the red points indicate uh, metro stations and our goal here is to create buffers around the metro stations in order to determine which metro station has the most crimes around it. Um, and specifically we're going to look at uh, theft um, around the, the metro station. So um, the first step in this analysis is to create the buffers. So what we're going to do, since we want to create a buffer around the metro stations, we're going to highlight the metro stations over in the layer stack. We're going to come up to the top and click tools and then we're going to find the create buffers which is right there. We're going to click on it. Uh, this window will appear. Um, and you can see in this window there are several options and so we have a uniform width option which is the one we're going to use uh, for this example and um, we're going to create a buffer that is 300 meters around uh, each metro station and then what we want to do is for the advanced options we're going to check both of these boxes and what these two boxes do are copy feature data to buffer so the data that are included with the metro station layer so if you look down below we have an address field and a GIS ID line um, that that data will be maintained in our new buffer layer that we create um, which is, is is useful in a lot of ways and it prevents us from having to go back and add additional data in um, so if we wanted to know the exact address of our buffer um, we will already have it and we will just simply copy it over from the metro station layer um, the create buffer and original features projection that just basically uh, lines up the projections um, equal so the the new layer that we create the buffer layer will have the same projection as the metro station layer um, so once we decide that we, these are these are the options we want um, and and the buffer size that we want all we have to do is click buffer and we should have new buffer points all over the map so you can see indicated by these white circles now because of Cartographica's ability to count points in polygons, all we have to do is simply highlight our new buffer layer in um, while, while I'm highlighting it. So we have it highlighted in the layer stack. You can see all that same data is um, that was in the metro station point data is now in our buffer layer. So if I click back to the metro station, you'll see that the data is exactly the same. Um, but we're going to add one other piece of information to the buffer layer, and that's the, the counted crimes in each of the buffers. So to do that, we're going to click on Tools, and we're going to click on Count Points and Polygons. And you can see we can count points from. We're going to count points from the Crime 2007 layer, and we're going to call this New Layer Crime, and we're going to click Count. And so if we still have the metro station buffer layer uh, selected in the layer stack, we can come over here to the far right, and you can see now that we have a new field called crime, uh, which has a range of 6 to 399 crimes. And so the last step then is to simply display uh, the different levels of crime across these buffers, across the metro stations. Um, so we double-click on the buffer layer in the layer stack, and we're basically just going to create a chloropleth map, which we've already covered in another screencast. But um, it's good to show how these these operations work in conjunction. So we're going to use our crime variable that we created, and then we're going to add um, let's add about five or six. Uh, let's add six different categories, and you can see our range again from six to three ninety nine. And we're simply just going to use that jinx distribution to uh, reclassify these categories. And you can see when I click the distribution button, the the numbers change um, and then again um, similar to the way I showed you in the chloroplath of the layer styles uh, screencast um, we can bring up the show color pellets um, window which is right here and then we can simply click and drag our uh, color scheme over into the layer styles window to adjust the color of our individual points or our buffer and I'm going to remove the crime layer so we can see uh, the buffers a little bit better and then I'm also going to bring up the uh, legend window so I'm going to click on window and show legend and we're going to click on our triangle to show the different uh, how the the colors represent the different levels of crime um, in our in our buffer zones so you can see the, the red buffers have the highest level of crime 
and also the uh, the dark the sort of blue color the darker blue has the the lowest level of crime so you can see it appears that most of the the high crime locations are sort of in the downtown area uh, which makes a lot of sense a lot of people frequent downtown they go shopping down there i'm um, in another screencast i show you that that's where the the most um retail sites are so a lot of theft might might be generated by those retail sites um, and that is buffer analysis and cartographic version 1.2. Thank you for listening.